So again, I was able to spread the bowel out as best I could. Uh, most of this is the small bowel, and here is the large intestine. I presume this is gonna be on the left. This is gonna be the left colon, and I'll tell you why I think uh, as I go down that this is gonna be the left colon, and here is the distal uh, left colon as it goes towards the anus. And uh, uh, this person had a history of uh, uh, a chronic constipation, long-standing since birth, and I believe what we're gonna see is that there's gonna be some absence of nerve plexus that will go with Hirschsprung, uh, perhaps in some of this segment of bowel, which is now gangrene and ischemic. And I think this probably more than likely will be the cause of death, ischemic gangrene of the uh, uh, left side of colon, uh, uh, perhaps from obstruction. And here's another piece of uh, small intestine, which is basically a dematis and dilated obviously because of uh, the obstruction in the, the distal colon here. But I think this is where our money would be in terms of, uh, this is ischemic gangrene. And uh, no one can survive this uh, without immediate uh, urgency of surgery uh, where this segment uh, uh, becomes very uh, infectious and cause sepsis, peritonitis, and death uh, once uh, ruptured and, uh, and uh, but uh, this is really an unfortunate case here of uh, ischemic necrosis of uh, what I presume is uh, 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 transverse uh, descending and sigmoid colon all the way down to the rectum. Uh, that is a complete ischemic. And this is the proximal portion of colon, uh, which is edematous and dilated here this is to suggest that there may have been some sort of obstruction obviously in the distal but the, uh, the intestine here dilated in the dimages, but don't look that bad there. But here's where the pathology is in the, uh, in the colon, which I think is, is hard to orient. And I think uh, it's gonna require the um, original prosector to kind of give us a better idea in terms of how this segment of bowel was oriented uh, in situ. All right, so it's kind of difficult to put pieces together. And you see most of the organs had already been dissected and and examined, and again, uh, most of what we see here is gonna have to depend on what the original prosector saw. And so I did not see the brain, and so oftentimes they keep the brain uh, as it fixes. Most people would like to study the brain after it fixed for a few days, so uh, unlike me, I cut the brain fresh, but I presume that that's where the brain is, it's still with the original uh, pro sector or pathologist who did the original autopsy. But the, the other organs other than the intestine don't look that bad. But we'll examine all, we'll take sections of all the major organs, the heart, the lung, the kidney, the liver, the, the pancreas, I mean the spleen, and so forth and so on. And uh, go from there.